show that the human capital in Kenya is actually the best in the world. Yes. When you travel even outside of Kenya, in any region of the world, you are likely to get the best professionals being the people of Kenya. And not just in politics, honorable speaker. If you go, for example, across Africa, everywhere we have had resets of economies, even Rwanda. Currently, if you go to Ethiopia, they are setting up their financial market. You find that it is the Kenyan people who are doing that. But honorable speaker, even on that, I also want to take this opportunity to congratulate the president-elect, the 45th and 47th president of the United States of America, Dave, uh, uh, Donald Trump. The reason why, Honorable Speaker, if you go through history, Republicans are always better in terms of policies. Service, service, Honorable Speaker, is based on the interest rate. And the interest rate in the Fed also percolates to our own capital markets. It is usually said, Honorable Speaker, that when the economy of the world sneezes or coughs, the other economies catch cold. And I want to believe that going forward, the United States will be more responsible in exercise of their power, and especially given the fact that their, 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 their currency is the global reserve. And Honorable Speaker, the same reason we saw yesterday, after the win, we saw the markets across the world responding. We saw Dow Jones, we saw all the global markets responding positively, because every person in the world knows that Republicans are better for the economy of the world, are better for the global south, and we look for very good. Why did you disconnect Honorable Ndindi Nyoro when talking about Trump? <laughs> Honorable Speaker, as I wind up, I was just trying to say, history, we say that the laboratory of economics is history. And the only place to see how things work is to look at how they have worked before. If you compare democratic regimes in terms of the Democrats and the Republican regimes, you find that when there are Republicans in power in the U.S., the economies of the global south perform better. And the more the reason because this is known, that we see, Honorable Speaker, after the win by the Republicans, we saw a response, a, a positive response in the markets in the U.S. and across the world. But there is only one pitfall, Honorable Speaker, as I finish. Again, when there is sentiment of a, of, a, of a strengthening economy in the U.S., we'll have a tendency of dollar becoming stronger. Unfortunately, when the dollar becomes stronger, it is, means it is in respect to other currencies. But I want to report to this House, even looking at the tendency of our Kenya shillings, against the greenback from yesterday, it shows the Kenyan fundamentals have been grounded, and the more the reason we have seen, even when the dollar is strengthening, our shearing is also strengthening. And lastly, we also hope that the United States will also not bring about a lot of economic wars. And especially with China, we do not expect to see the kind of tariff wars because they also affect our economies. So we expect that going forward, we'll see sunshine where the, the same U.S. economy have poured cold water in the economies. We pro foresee, Honorable Speaker, that going forward, we'll have warmth in the economies like Kenya, and we'll see progress across all the economies of the world. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Chair. Budget Appropriations Committee. The Honorable Yerusha Mumanyi. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this opportunity, Honorable Speaker, so that I can also celebrate this brilliant girl who is called Hulda. Nyamitsa is another name because I know she comes from my village. She's called Nyamitsa Momani. And you also know that I am Momani, Jerusha. That means we share that name from the same uh, parents. I want to congratulate this girl because she had not, that we, can, we are not even able to explain. We are so happy. The people of Namira are so happy. The people of Kenya are so happy. And it really is not a preserve of uh, the Honorable Jerusha Momani. They are not related. They, they just come from the same area. 
Thank you, Honorable, Honorable, Honorable Soro, for the avoidance of doubt in Africa, we don't have uh, cousins. Yeah, we, we don't. We are brothers and sisters. So continue, Honorable Jerusha Sure, sure. Honorable Speaker, thank you for informing your sorrow. Soro should know that whoever is called your name and who comes from your village, that is your sister or your brother. I'm so grateful that Hulda. Give uh, Honorable Yerusha Mumani one minute to conclude. This is her sister. She's talking about her. <laughs> we, we are so happy. That is why Osoro is so, so excited, like I am excited. I want to urge every Kenyan who is living anywhere in this world to come up and ask for elective posts because we have been proven as Kenyans and as Nyamirans that we are so happy and we know how to do the work. Wherever we, are, we have been given the job, we do. It is because of the hard work of Hulda, because of high 